Uh, what is the picture in the bond market first and foremost? I mean, right, we know that we had an auction coming up today, 164.88 billion Nara. Before you give me the picture, tell me, what were some of the key takeaways from that auction today, Eze? Um, hi, Uche. Um, yeah, 164, that's for the treasury bills, about 110 billion for the bond. Um, Treasury bills um, overall, the picture has always been a bullish market so far. Um, uh, news on the auction result actually did come in, in coming in uh, about 40 uh, basis points lower than when it closed, except um, um, on the longer tenor out in the one year where you have a huge drop of about 70 basis points from um, the last auction. Uh, you're seeing yields at um, 11, 11%, 10.85, 11%, 11%, and 11.049% across the 91, 182 and 364 days. Um, not so different from where the secondary market is trading, except for the 182 days um, um, bills. Um, typically, the curve, curve is looking a bit normal now, on a normal range, um, lower on the, on the shorter end, lower on the out longer end, but um, higher middle, middle turn are actually looking good on the T bills curve. And that. Um, on the bonds, um, a bit of mixed picture there um, coming in, ma market gaining some few percentage points from where it closed um, on the start of the week on Monday, um, attributed basically to the fact that you have um, some bonds on the offer today, 20, 20, 2017, 2019, 2022 coming in on the auction today, and we expect um, the result to be uh, basically flat. Um, we think that um, the picture in the fixed income space actually look bullish, and um, um, accordingly, the market is positioned that way. Right. So, I mean, I, I'd like to get your, your take in terms of the outlook uh, as they going forward. Uh, do you see the bond market, the secondary market remaining stable? Uh, same picture also in the table market. Going forward, what do you see as a... Well, the picture actually looks um, a bit stable. Price action so far has been within a very contained, contained range. Even in, even the fact that um, um, you have an auction today, the price action also, um, has been relatively between a contained range. I think uh, on the fact that um, you have net of um, you have some maturities coming in the bond market um, this week also. Even with the fact that you have some reopening net of it, you have some more liquidity coming in here, giving traders some more leeway today. I think it's stable in the po and the positive pictures I think you might see rates actually push down um, push down a bit further but how low it go I really don't think I think you might be um, attempting to the close out to the lower end of the ring in terms of the yield for the short term for now but it's a good picture it looks good for the country it looks good for everybody great great uh, that's certainly a positive picture there as and I, I just want to get your take this morning uh, we had an interview with the ifc uh, they talked about how they're going to go ahead and issue a naira currency bond uh, here in nigeria uh, what's your take on the reception we're going to see for that bond uh, when it does come out well, I mean, that, that sounds, it's good news. Um, uh, it's good news. Um, it portrays the um, overall um, country, the overall economic indices in a very good light. Would want to see how much participation rate we get, especially from the offshore guys, seeing that they participated so much in the in the um, in the sovereigns, the go the governments that we have so far. They've done so a good a good bit of participation in it. We would like to see how much they would take when it comes to Supernatural or other agencies doing a large denominated bond. Um, I think for now, while it's good and every other thing point, I think it will point to a healthy take up. But we would rather watch and see and um, make it very good inference from where it comes out but um, overall I think it's a good picture uh, Naira Dynamiter is new but that overall I think it's good I think people love Naira for now and um, they really want to hold Naira assets Right, and I, I think one thing he did mention was the fact there's a lot of attention, well, more attention on Nigeria's uh, fixed income markets, of course, with the J opening of the, with the addition of Nigeria's uh, federal FG bonds into the uh, JP Morgan index. Uh, what's your take on the impact this is going to have uh, on our corporate and state uh, bond markets? Uh, because obviously there's a lot of interest in Nigeria's bonds right now. Uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a positive um, flow down. We expect that um, the spread between the corporates and the government would tighten up a bit. Um, if you look at the insurance calendar across um, the across um, across the purported insurance calendar and the fund requirement, you find out that um, on the local side you actually less have have less insurance bonds 
um, even in by the government, and that not only happening in Nigeria, almost across the emerging market space, you're seeing the same thing: less insurance of bond. You find out that credit spreads begin to tighten. I think it offers um, the states and the corporates a bit more leeway to get funding at very good levels. Um, we've seen um, a situation like this play out about um, three, four years ago, and I think um, taking advantage of this declining yield. Now it's a bit different in the situation in the fact that um, most central bankers, most economies have learned from what happened in the previous bubble that we have. They put in place some measures that um, are, right. are, are meant to anticipate or take care of whatever shocks that might come in. Okay. I think um, it just goes, it tells you to come in now and take advantage of what you see.